Today we're back in Miami to take a look at another luxury listing. This one is located on Brickell Ave, also known as Millionaire's Row, for some of the residents that have lived here, Madonna, Sylvester Stallone, a few others to name. And for those of you that don't know Brickell, Brickell is pretty much Miami's Manhattan, except you are surrounded by water and the beach is just a short drive away. has seven bedrooms, eight and a half bathrooms, just under 9,800 square feet with an 18,000 square foot lot. As I said before, it's brand new. It was built in 2021 and it's asking $10,495,000. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk. I'm a realtor in South Florida, and this is what I do. I take you around, I show you the nicest homes for sale in South Florida, and this just happens to be one of them. So coming through the gate, on my left, there is no garage on this property, but you get something almost, I would say just as nice, probably more preferable to some people. You get a carport that has nine to 10 car spaces. So it's a total of about 2,500 square feet. There's also the rest of this driveway and even further down here, you get more parking space. So with the amount of space you have under here, throwing a party would just be super easy. You even got some light on the ceiling. And I love the wood finish on the top and you even have a mirror behind me just to reflect it, to make it feel even bigger than it already is. There's a really interesting feature about this house in particular. It has upside down living, meaning all of the living and bedrooms are on the first floor and the entertainment and common areas are on the second floor. So right here, if you're coming home and you're going straight to your bedrooms, this is actually where you'd enter. However, we're gonna take it to you like you're the guests coming to see the house for the first time. So we're actually gonna come back down this way. And before we get into the actual property, look at the architecture of this whole place. It's, it's something, I mean, we've seen a lot of houses. I've never seen a house laid out like this. The, there's just glass everywhere, wood. It almost feels like you're going to nature. There's birds chirping. Beautiful. Where, where do you hear that in Miami? Just birds chirping, trees all around you. And the architecture was actually done by Gabriel Lopez, very renowned architect here in Miami. Even before we get into the property itself, look at this. You have two benches here, and then this tree goes through the roof, and they have a circle at the top for it. Even your front door has character. It's a 10 foot high glass pivot door. And as soon as you walk in, there's a window on my right to show you downstairs. So you really can see the upside down living. On my left, you have an art installation on one side. You're surrounded by porcelain tile in the entrance. And then right above me, this just really grand chandelier at the top. So as I come up the stairs, Right away, I'm just taken aback by what I see in front of me. I have 125 feet of slider doors going from one end of the property, basically almost to the other end. So as soon as you come in, the first thing you're looking at is your pool and outside entertaining areas. And on my way to the, one of the formal dining rooms, we're gonna have a feature right here that's honestly a first for me. You have an elevator, but it's like an open cased elevator. So you just come on into here. It takes you down to the second floor and back up to the first floor. It's really convenient if, you're, if it's time to go to bed, you don't feel like taking the stairs or just accessibility issues. It's actually a handicap accessible as well. So it can fit for anybody. And then as we pass it, it's going to take us into the first formal living room. A couple places to sit right here, nice and casual. Even on the other side, you have a some, somewhat of a bookshelf where you can sit down, have some pillows. There's a nice cutout here so you can still see your pool. And then, like I said, these three chairs, possibly a place to discuss life. You know, you got the big brother, the son, and the father just discussing life. I don't know, I'm just painting pictures for you. And then into here, this is one of the official formal living rooms. This is a no TVs allowed, art only, as you can see, art all around us. And the finishes in here are just insane. I mean, look at the, these pillars, the detail in the pillars, the porcelain tile continues out. One of my favorite features to see in any room, surrounded by windows, even in front of the windows, you have these wooden slats. And on this side, I again can see my pool backyard area. and uh, it leads us, it's a great way to lead us into the rest of the property. So as we leave this room, 
we have the one and only half bathroom in this property. It's up in the entertaining area because that's normally where the guests are gonna be to have to use it. The countertop has, it almost looks like a CEO's desk. A little slit here, you have the downspout action and then the finish on the wall going all the way around. I feel like I'm in some kind of like Indonesian Bali vibe in this house. And then we'll come out of this room, we'll make a left towards the kitchen and I think before we even get down to the kitchen, why don't I just show you the uh, pool area outside? I think, I think that'll be worth it. Look, the door right here, might as well. And as you can probably imagine, these doors open up so you can keep them wide open, have that indoor-outdoor feel. But for these purposes, we'll just leave them like this, follow me outside. So talking about those Bali, like Indonesia vibes, this is exactly what it feels like. It's so quiet, crystal blue skies, and then I mean, let's just start on like the ones, I wanna get the whole thing for you guys. So like over here, this is where that living room was. There's a balcony on this side for, you know, extra guests to be. Up on this platform, a nice circular bed to sit down, relax. This whole, whole thing right here is the second story pool. And look at the length of this thing. It goes all the way down and it leads you right into your outdoor kitchen and dining room. Miami is a hot, sort of humid place, and on those kind of days, having fans right above is the perfect charm. This table, beautiful, it custom designed. I love the legs of the table, it curves, the wood on top, and then just the little details over here. This, this actually looks, if you've been to any restaurant in South Beach, this looks like the kind of dining they have for you. Right behind me, the outdoor kitchen, you got coyote appliances, fridge, ice maker, freezer, sink, and then, your countertops out here, also made out of wood. It continues that same, you know, just natural nature vibe that you have. And you know what's crazy? They even have lighting under just these parts. You can imagine how beautiful this place looks at night. A bench right over here to sit. And then on my left, this is actually like a kiddie pool. It's just a really shallow version of that pool. So the adults are in there, the kids are in here out of harm's way. And then of course, what house is complete without it? Jacuzzi. So you got a jacuzzi out here, and right past these steps, another place to lounge and hang out. The whole theme of this place is just entertaining, indoor, outdoor living, and this just nailed it for me, honestly. The seats going around, this umbrella, which I'm dining to get under because it's kind of hot right now. It's absolutely beautiful. You have access to the cabana bathroom on that side, and then it overlooks your open yard on the other side. This place, so far has hit every nail on the head. And we've, we've barely even seen half of it. So let's head back inside so I can show you the rest of the second floor and take you back down to the first floor where the bedrooms are. Follow me, YouTube, follow me. Back inside, thank God, it's a little hot out there, but that's South Florida for you. You can't complain about having sunny, beautiful days. This is what we're about. But let's continue back down. So this is where we came up in the property. This is the guest's entrance to the entertaining space. And as we walk down through this window, through this path, it takes you into your kitchen. You almost have like a wet bar. I would say it's a wet bar because it has this window so you can see who's coming in. It's got storage above. The finish goes all the way around. Right behind it is your kitchen, your main kitchen. Behind me, the fridge and freezer. Massive sub-zero fridge and freezer over here. Sink over here. Check this out, you got your Wolf gas stove top and the vent is actually hidden in a ceiling. So you do have one, but it's not obstructing any views because you definitely don't want to mess any of this up. This is the money right here. And then down below, you got your dishwasher, extra storage behind me your dual wolf ovens, wolf coffee maker, wolf microwave. Basically this whole house is just howling wolf, wolf products. And then as we come a little further down, you got storage over here, pantry space. And uh, I know what you might be thinking, Jason, I've got a big family. That's just not gonna cut it for me. Well, I know, I know you have a big family, so I'm gonna show you how much storage space this place really has. So down here, you get another set of storage. Is that enough? Is that enough for you? Well, if it's not, Good, because I have more storage space for you. You open up these doors, can you see that? It's a hidden room. Go down in here, and you have a wraparound wall-to-wall -wall storage on this side. So 
you definitely have enough for the biggest of families and there's actually even a window in here so you get some natural light as well. They really thought of everything in this place. So when you come out of this room basically, I, I can't even call that like storage, that's, that's just another room over here. You have six seats on your bar stool seating at the end of this island. This is great for like a breakfast room, even like a casual dining room. And there actually is a formal dining room just on the other end of this kitchen, follow me. Coming back down towards the wet bar area on my right, takes us right in. Boom, your open, grand, formal dining room. You can access it through here, through just that side, and it takes you right in. This is where you're gonna have eight seats, your big formal family. And then how about this? Right behind this glass door, as you can see, you got about a 50 bottle temperature controlled wine room. So you put your best of your best bottles here. You're having a big important dinner, graduation, engagement, anniversary. You put the best bottle here, come over, crack it open and enjoy it over here. Even the design of this table, this table alone is a work of art. Look at it, it has a deep ridge going down into it. I almost would just put my dish aside and just stare down into the dining table. And now that we've seen basically the eating area, the kitchen, let me take you down to the TV room at the end of the kitchen. Follow me one more time, down here. Beautiful, look how long the island is, huge. Boom, right into the TV room, just like that. You got your sofa, couple chairs. You have windows at the ceiling top over here, almost like a greenhouse, letting in natural light. The floor is more lit than the lights are on in here. You got your TV on the wall, sofa over here, high ceilings, nice and open, windows surrounding us. This place is just a breath of fresh air. And you can just imagine sitting here, movie night, entertaining, having a party, that finish on the wall is absolutely insane. And the last thing that we're gonna take a look at before we get downstairs, you have your cabana bath right over here. The floor continues the same porcelain tile. You got your sink, walk-in shower, and even on the walls, surrounded by porcelain, and you have this really cool mirror that you click and it lights up for you, just like that, and then access outside. So if you're in the pool, you need a shower before you go in, you can easily do that, but the whole floor is tile, so don't even worry about getting it wet. So now that I've finished with the entire second floor, let's head downstairs so I can show you the entire first floor and the bedrooms, follow me. All right, coming down the stairs, takes you right into a sunken living room with a fireplace, seating all around. But before we talk about any of the space, right behind me, you have the master bedroom. I'd like to take you in there. You have custom cabinetry. This whole vanity extends the entire length. And then right here, a fridge. So you got like a wet bar situation, art on both walls. And I love the finishes on the counter and on the cabinets themselves. But coming in, look how bright and light this master bedroom is. Your bed, obviously, center of the room, exactly where it needs to be, fireplace over there. And on both sides, you just have luscious green, and the windows are, I mean, look at, look at the size of these windows just letting in all this natural light. So on this side, you actually have like a patio that extends down for the rest of the bedrooms. And on that side, you're looking into a bare open yard with just surrounding trees. You barely, you kind of forget you're in Miami. I feel like I'm in Bali right now. I feel like I'm on vacation somewhere else on the, side of the, on the other side of the world. But this room just, I just want to go, mm, just dive in. It's so relaxing and it surrounds out speakers at the top. TV on the wall, but check out this master bathroom. It's, this, is, this has gotta be one of the most like zen bathrooms I think I've ever seen, come inside. So that fireplace from the bedroom actually two double ways into the bathroom. So you can have some warmth in the fireplace over there. You have a soak-in tub right next to it so you're just getting toasty warm while you're having a nice soak-in bath. And that window goes down again so you have more privacy, you have the foliage over here, dual sinks, and the, and the mirror extends down the length of both of them. Again, just like the rest of the house, custom cabinetry, this oak finish at the top. And then uh, behind me, you have your walk-in shower. And can I even call it a walk-in shower? This is like a fall-in shower. How much space you have? This whole thing is the shower, even some seats right here. But the shower head above, you got that nice rainfall, so you can just imagine sitting here like 
this trees next to you, basically in a rainforest, and then this glass enclosure right here, it keeps it very nice and open, and the space you can fit a lot of people. A lot more than just two people, if you catch my drift. And then coming on out, takes us a little further down, you have two towel warmers, a chair right here between them, and then behind this door for privacy, you have your toilet and bidet. The first closet that we're taking a look at, A, the space that you have in here, and there's also a corner wraparound vanity on one side, mirror over here, nature on my right, and then look how much storage we have. Spots for shoes, handbags, pants, shirt, everything. Your accessories right behind me, hidden in a corner. This is where your valuables are gonna go. You're gonna have your jewelry, your fine diamonds, everything that goes hidden in there, put some clothes, block it up, but this is where it goes over here. Then I have no use for a vanity, me personally, but if I did, this is the one I would wanna use. You got that wrap around, the finish continues, the wood finish. It's just, it's a great space. And this is just a closet. And if this wasn't enough closet space for two people, don't worry about it. I got you. There's a second closet over here, down on this side. And it's, it's honestly, they didn't sacrifice a lot. Come, come look down here. It's huge. Look at the size of this thing. It goes all the way down. You got the light going all the way down. It's pretty much the same storage, I would say, just in a more narrow position. And then right in front of me, it takes you right back out into the downstairs living. So you don't have to go through the whole bedroom again, you can just go through this door. So let's go through that door so I can show you the rest of the first floor. Follow me. So leaving the master bedroom. I don't want to leave. You're making me, because I have to show you the rest of the house. On my left, you have a sunken in living room. It has a fireplace, even room for a TV, but why would you do it? This, is, this wall is beautiful enough. I would just leave it like this. This is my entertainment. And like I said, it goes all the way up. And you can see those windows at the top giving you that natural light. It's really nice and cozy. It comes down like, a, like an actual floor length, wraps around, table in the center, and your beautiful fireplace to permit all that heat. And before we get started at any of the bedrooms, we still have the backyard to show you. I showed you the upstairs entertaining space, but you still have a traditional backyard. So out here, so out here, so there is no pool out here because that was on the second floor. This is just an open yard. You like to play soccer, you like to throw the football around, you still have your backyard in this 18,000 square foot lot in Miami, which is unheard of and you're completely surrounded by privacy with all these trees and the windows. It's just very natural and quiet. I love it. Me personally, I'd put like a cabana thing out here or maybe two goalie posts. Let your imagination run wild out here. But let's head back inside so I can show you the rest of the inside. So leaving the backyard, coming inside, an art piece right here, just beautiful, sitting on a bed of stones and surrounded by two-story glass windows. I feel like I'm in a museum somewhere deep in Miami. Coming down behind me, this is where we're gonna see some of the first bedrooms. On my left, however, is a gym. So when you walk into here, you have your hydration center, you have your ensuite bathroom with a walk-in shower, and then here is your or here's the official gym. You got the wall mirror. Access to a patio outside, maybe if you wanna do some sprints. And then a TV can fit easily between the mirrors on this wall right over here. You got some, yeah, you know, you know, you know the vibes. Just hit one of these. Oh, God, that hurt. That didn't feel good, you know. Do a couple of these. Okay. Yeah, so you got a gym in here and then right across another bedroom. Crossing over the sunken living room. I love this living room. I just wanna front flip like into that living room. You'll notice on this wall that I'm walking past, there are door handles right here. There's a reason, they open up obviously, but they're like hidden doors. So in this one, it's a linen closet and it could honestly just be used as extra storage, coat closet. But on this one, this is gonna be your private hidden secret bedroom. Coming on in, look at this. 
It's got an ensuite, it's got your closet over there, access to that porch, but this, this should really be an office, maybe even like an in-law suite if you want them to have their own private space where no one can find them, you know. It's a nice quiet room. No one's gonna see it unless you really point it out. I almost missed it, but the door handles kinda, kinda showed me. And look how flush the door is on a curved wall. And a feature that we see a lot in this house are these pillars going from the top to the bottom. I love them, they're beautiful. It, it gives you that like different kind of coral vibe. I don't know, I feel like I'm near the beach in a different country. I'm absolutely in love with it. But there's a feature that we're about to go check out that every house in America should have. At least if you want to call it a luxury house. And that is a movie theater. This is just, this is, when I saw this, I was like, this house is something else. Elevated ledges, you could put couch, couch, chair, chair, and then an actual massive Sony TV. I want to say, I don't know the exact number, I would say 80 to 100 inches. This thing is huge. And then even the finish at the top, it's all soundproofed. You've got this really delicate, beautiful finish on the wall, this wood finish, reflects on that side. And then when you walk all the way around, you even have access into its own private little patio sitting area. You just watched a really scary movie. You wanna go breathe in some fresh air. Listen, I've been there. I know exactly the feeling. And then for when the movie gets really scary and you can't hold the bathroom, you got a full bathroom in here. So this is almost like another room because it's got the full ensuite, some toiletry space right over here. And then adjacent from the bathroom is the brains of the movie theater. You got all your sound equipment, movie equipment, all of it right here. Easily accessible for the projector if you wanted to put a projector instead, but with this TV, why would you? So leaving out of this movie theater, once again, another room where I don't want to leave. It's gonna take us back out into here. This, again, I've had like six favorite rooms in this house. This is another one of my favorite rooms. So there are four seats here, right? This is what you do. I mean, let me show you an example. You come over here to your, again, temperature controlled wine room. You get that amazing bottle out, bring it over to everyone. Hey guys, you won't believe what I got the other day. Crack it open, pour it up, sit down, have a nice casual drink. The fireplace is going, you're under this beautiful light fixture. It's just, this is a great room. It's so zen, it's so peaceful. And on the left of it, you're gonna have one of the final bedrooms. In this bedroom, it's nice and open. It's actually got like a built-in desk area over here. Access to that same porch patio out here. This one's like the biggest spot of the porch. It's got your ensuite over there, closets behind here, and then a really cool feature for the staff for this property. It's such a massive house, you're gonna need it. There's an entire staff quarters over here. You got your dual washer dryers, sink, storage, bedroom, and then access straight outside so they can come in and out without running through the center of the property disturbing anybody if you wanted to. And then over here, I love, I mean, look at this art installation, how beautiful. So nicely done, looks like it's actually floating. Come down a little further. This is where the elevator would take you down, the one that we saw in the living room when we walked upstairs. If you're coming home and you wanna go straight up, you can right here. You don't wanna take the stairs to access right here. And then right behind me, this is your carport. Takes you right back out inside the, into the carport and this is actually where I'd like to end the video, but I wanna leave you with a really cool final scene of everything. You have this beautiful property, brand new, in the heart of Miami, just five minutes away from the city. We're still in Brickell. I absolutely love it here, and this is where I'll end the video. I just wanna say thank you for coming on this tour with me. We're gonna do a lot more tours just like this. No, we're never gonna stop, ever and we've also gone out of the state. We, we do sometimes we go on vacation, we bring that camera with us, we're never not working. So if you ever wanna follow us on those, check out this playlist, this is the out of state playlist, or if you just wanna continue on with the rest of the properties because you love me so much, here's where you'll watch the rest of them. I just wanna give another quick shout out to the listing agents for allowing us to do this tour, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Love you, care about you, would do anything for you.